Our Max X number one whooping comes from our peace loving neighbors to the north. Yep, this one comes from Canada. The Vancouver Canucks hockey team has just lost the final game of the Stanley Cup playoffs to the New York Rangers. Well, evidently, Canadians care about hockey, so they become uncharacteristically upset. Go figure. Taking a cue from their more primitive neighbors to the south, they make an unusual decision. It's time for a riot, eh? Canadians may not have much experience rioting, but they're doing their very best. Start slow, but pretty soon they get into the swing of things. A guy does a tightrope walk on an electrical power line. His normally considerate fellow Canucks attack him with rocks and bottles until he plunges to the ground. The normally placid, passive, polite, and peaceful Canadians block the ambulance so they can't get to him. Police are losing control. They don't know from riots up in Canada, so they reluctantly resort to hats and bats. The riot police show up and try out a few tentative whacks to, you know, see what happens. When they gather enough cops, they decide it's time to restore everyday courtesy to Canada and kick some back bacon. They fire tear gas into the crowd as a subtle reminder to behave. The crowd declines the suggestion, so the police offer a gentle helping hand. How do you know this is a Canadian riot? If I, if I don't try, the cops are still friendly and helpful. Hey, if you can get out of here with your flat in one piece, I'll oh do my your God. Waving the Canadian flag, they move a few blocks away where there's no tear gas. And they go in search of finely made Canadian products, including Alanis Morissette posters and William Shatner CDs. Of course, a few Canadians are not enjoying the civil disturbance. What? I'm sorry, we have to freeze the action for just a second to point out this sweet Canadian mullet. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe this is the Canadian flag. This is a disgrace to Vancouver. In the end, it was an excellent learning experience for everyone. The police learned to work together more effectively as a group. And citizens got to sample tear gas and experience the cleansing sting of a well-placed billy club. Unfortunately, there were many injuries and millions of Canadian dollars worth of damages. We're not sure, but we think that's about 300 bucks in U.S. money. At least politeness was restored. But we're betting our Canadian friends regret that they got the number one spot on when people attack. Maximum exposure.